How's it going guys? So this is Dr. Sa at Specific Chiropractic, providing guys at Chiropractic in Manhattan, NYC. So we have a special guest over here and you have some language barrier. So I'm gonna explain, help explain to the viewers over here. So her main complaint is actually her right thumb. Okay, so show to the viewers over here. Try to do it like this as much as you can. Mm -hmm. Can you raise your thumb as much as you can? So it's a little stuck, right? Yes. So she has a lot of trouble extending this thumb way back. Whereas this one, she can do it much more easier. You can see on this one, see? See how far it goes? It's right there, it just stuck, right? Once again, over here, we'll do a sideways view. See this one over here? Easily extends backwards, this one. It just fixed it, it's stuck right over here. So we're gonna take a closer look, see what's going on on here. In addition to, she's also complaining about neck pain and low back pain with sciatica, go all the way down to her Achilles and also her second, third, fourth toes as well. So we'll keep an eye, let's take a look, see what's going on. Now, based on our history, okay, and we'll also take a look at the x-rays. So we're we're going over, okay, right thumb pain, which had a lot of trouble, you know, extending it. She also complains on neck pain, reading down to that thumb, in addition to sciatica going on the right leg, down to her Achilles over here, two, three, and four toes. Now, why are we looking at the neck and the low back for these nerves? Because the nerves innervate and they go to these particular areas and we have to isolate even further. So traditionally, the fourth and fifth lumbar nerves innervate the big toes. Okay, the fifth lumbar nerves usually innervate this region over here and the sacral nerves innervate here. In addition to, she's also complaining about the Achilles over here, the pain in this region over here, correct? And this region over here is usually the sacral nerves. So sacral nerves are made here and also go into the plantar nerve and branches out to the median and lateral plantar nerves. Therefore, from time to time, we'll also see sacral nerves over here. Tight, good. Tight, good. Tight. 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 Good. Tight again. Tight again. Good. All right, so now isolating even further, Traditionally, what we got is eight cervical nerves, is around here, seven to eight cervical nerves, seven cervical nerves usually around the middle finger, okay? And then six and five usually deals with this region over here as well. So that tells me that, okay, we got some potential issues. Right now, her finger muscle test seems to be fine, but there's some fixation and pain radiating out there here. So I'm gonna take a closer look what's going on in the fifth and sixth cervical nerve nerve involvement over here. Sometimes I've seen even fourth cervical sometimes here as well, but it's pretty, pretty rare, all right? Now, overlaying the data, what we accomplished from the history, take a look at the x-rays, and also upon visualization, uh, just, I can see right off the bat, we can see this is very swollen, okay? And we also see there's muscle spasms here. So, now, the body's clearly trying to protect something that's, and try to stabilize something in this region over here. Now, because it's very unstable, right, the body, and there's a huge inflammatory process going on as we speak, right in this region over here, the body's increasing more vascular supply into this area to introduce more white blood cells and more building materials to try to repair this area. One of the byproducts of that increased vascular supply is gonna be increased temperature. And that's what this device picks up. Now, locating other areas, tr potential trouble spots, and also looking and feeling here as well. Her middle of the back is also has some potential areas I'm gonna take a closer look at. And also look all straight down here. Okay, we have a lot of pooling down here and also a lot of pooling over here as well. So when we scale with the device over here. Okay, we got considerable heat reading at this particular wall right here. Scanning all the way straight down. Now, for something that's chronic and been there for a long time, we may need to tilt the scope to show the real culprit at this particular wall right here. And we've got another one right there as well. Another one right here. It's in the middle. Not bad. We got something in the back. 
Now for the sake of ENA joints, one of the very good indicators for adjusting a pelvis is going to be adenomous edema in the sacred iliac joint. Now, is this tendon right here? Yes. Yeah, see, there's a lot of fluid in there. What about this fellow right here? Not too bad, right? Yes. Yeah. See, there's not much fluid over here, but there is quite a bit over here. See, anything over here, we're going to check for fluid. We're in that edema. It is a big patch right here at the second sacral segment level. And I'm going to also palpate. Yeah, that's a brick wall right there, not too much level. That's not a one. See, there's a partial fixation on the left ilium. So even though it's like uncomfortable, we're, we're not going to adjust these. But the two us, how's that one? Yeah. Okay, see, so we identify that particular level right there. And we're going to mark it. And then we're going to check. See, there's a lot of fluid right up between the sacrum and the fifth lumbar spinal process. How's that fellow right there? How's this? Yeah, see, that's not fun. And I see it on the x-ray, there's a very big inferiority at that level too. Okay, now everything's motioning just fine until we get to here, right at this, at this level. Not too bad here, a little fluid over here. See, it's all fluid and muscle tensions, all muscle spasms all over along here. Motion palpated. See, right there. How's that feel right there? Doesn't feel that great, huh? See, it doesn't tilt too well. That fits cervicals in trouble right there. Once again, on our history, this is where we get to decide you know, what we need to adjust over here. Now, because her foundation itself is in trouble, and I see over here, the second sacral segment, it, there's a very big bubble in there. And on top of that, it's also open on the posterior. We have a nice posterior wedge in there. In addition to this fifth lumbar, as we see, it is very inferior. It should be in proper alignment like this. However, your vertebrae, what it did was, it went backwards like this, and tilted backwards like this. Sort of like, you no know, different like a kid. Laying back on his chair, way back, ready to topple over. However, as you saw, it collapsed the tunnel and start pinching that nerve. And that's why you feel all that pain down to your toes. Now, because of the Achilles, right, that tells us, no, this is also in trouble too. Now, here's the thing. If I adjust just this one alone, we could do that. However, since it's sitting on top of very unstable sacrum over here, this thing, it's going to bang. It's going to come right back out and within a matter of hours. All right, it's going to be very short-lived. In addition to, it's going to aggravate even more because that ball bearing, which is this over here, okay, basically what happened is, basically what happened is it went very forward over here, all right? So that's what happened. It tilted way over here, the ball bearing went forward, and it's becoming incredibly unstable. It's moving way too much. So that's why, here's the thing though. If I choose to adjust only to this, it's gonna make that bone even more backwards. Mm -hmm. And you're not gonna like that either, <laughs> all right? So that's why normally I don't have to adjust these two, but unfortunately in your case, we have to do that. It's not an option. So we're gonna want to adjust this one first, okay? And then because it's gonna make this more posterior and more inferior backwards, I'm gonna adjust this one next afterwards. Next component is we probably have to address this one over here, okay? And also your fit cervical over here, that one also very posterior and a bit inferior as well, right? So let's rock and roll. And you can see to the viewers, this is really prominent now. It's puffy as heck. So it's right there. And get left. Okay, out. knees back, please. A little more. There you go. Okay, relax the belly. Keep on dropping. What's different about it? No, you do good with your uh, heavy with no heavy with your uh, oh, lighter? Yeah. Okay, that's good. How's how's this over here? How's that feel? 
A little bit. A little bit. Okay, fair enough. How's the toes? That's good. To toes are good? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. See? How's that now? A little bit. Yeah, see, she was jumping before. Not that bad. How's this? Okay, still jumping. All right, we have to adjust that. How's the toes? Good? Good. You said a little pain over here last time. How's yes, that now? Yes, uh, yeah, good. Still a little bit? Good? Yes. Better? Good. Yes. All right. Just a little. Try, try to raise it as high as you can. What's different about this one? It's good. You, is it better? Mm. Or no difference? Oh, as a uh, here, good uh, here, uh, been. Okay, but how's this one? You said you had a little trouble doing this. I see it, yeah, good. Getting better? Yes. How much better would you say? Three. Two, three. So, would you say what? Out of 10? So, like, what, 20, 30 percent better? Yes. Okay. So, to explain to the viewers why that's happening is because the brain over here, it needs to go right through here, okay? And we want to reduce the traffic jams over here to get more nerve function all straight down into the stomach over here. Now that we're able to realign and, and take remove some of that traffic jam out of the way, that's why there's no more nerve flow into the stomach itself. All right? So now next part. Okay, now we're checking at the thumb itself. Now, first things first, once again, we've removed the nerve interference from the neck. I want to have more nerve function so when I set this, it will hold and and last longer. All right. Now we check the elbow. Okay. Elbow little laxity in here. Okay. Okay. Well, the radius just went. I'm gonna sell a little deeper. Relax. There it is. We check the lunate. And we see the extra over there. The lunate is out. So I do need to set that before we go after the thumb. See, it's you're able to ulnar deviate just fine. Radial deviation is stuck. So you can't go posterior either. So since the, the lunate bone is a like a crescent shape, okay. Actually, cross the shape going this way, we need to set it going this direction. That's where the misalignment is. Just like that. Now we clear this. See that difference right there? Okay. Now you're able to radially deviate your wrist. Now, the next component is this thumb. Okay. The first metacarpal bone right here is misaligned. That's what we're seeing over here. We're going to set that bone right now. Just relax. A little more. Just like that. Now, Go ahead, try it. Extend as much as you can. Tell me, what's different? Try it, go like this, high as you can. Yeah, what's different about it? So you said 20, 30% better last time. How's it now? I see you better, good. This lunate is also out too. So same, same story as well. The lunate bone moves like this and also pivots this way as well. So right now it's stuck. Okay, it's not able to go this way and also it doesn't go this way either. So what I have to do is since it's big, misaligned in this direction, we need to realign it to that direction in that vector. There we go. Here it goes. And yeah, this thumb is just fine. Now this is also this one too. I'm gonna set this. Set this one right here. Set it here. There it is. Okay. Now I'll try the thumbs. Go like this. Pull them. See it? Go like this. See how I like it. It's cool, check. Then I said no. Oh, this. No. No? no. Just one. Pause. Okay. No. 
Uh, that's why. Okay, this will agenda. Okay, agenda right there. There's a misalignment. Okay, no, just stay right there. There it is. Okay, now try the thumb. No, you gotta move around a little bit because we just said it. Okay, so here's what you do. I want you to ice this because see before it was really jammed up and stuck. Okay. Yeah. See now it's moving. So I want you to ice this over here. Okay. Twenty minutes, three times a day. Same thing with this one over here. We have to ice this up here. Okay, this is moving just fine. Okay. okay. So ice this over here, but main thing is, as the viewers saw over here, you are very swollen over here in the neck. You have to ice this down 20 minutes, three times a day. Get all the swelling out of there. And as that swelling goes down, your nose down, getting better and better and better. Mm -hmm. Okay? Okay. All right, I'll see you next time. Thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome.